celebrities. No, no, not celebrities. Wannabe celebrities. YouTubers thinking they're going to fight or box these top athletes for what? For money. You're making a mockery of the sport. Like, we had that guy from Geordie Shaw who play, um, I lost my mind the name now. Mayweather. Sorry, Aaron for him. Aaron from Geordie Shaw lost. And he was like, it doesn't matter. It's all about the money. You're making a joke out of these great. I mean, I'm a huge Conor McGregor supporter, you know, but then he stepped into the ring to do the boxing, and I'm like, what is the pew 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 touch? No. Then what do we have this last week? Anthony Joshua and Francis. Yes. And Francis got. Who's going to win? Ever lost in Kaki The boxer. But, but, yeah. But because he's a, a mar mixed martial arts support but but fighter. Argument, because not everybody's like, he took. Tyson Fury really far in, right? He took him all the way and it became a split decision. And then everybody's now saying, well, it's clear that Tyson Fury n didn't train for the fight. Prepare, yeah. He didn't prepare. He's never been the most in-shape guy, but he's a great fighter, of course, but yeah. Because it's the same thing, you know, Joshua did with Andy Ruiz, right? He didn't, he didn't train the first time yeah, yeah. and dude took his belt. That's a mistake. You just don't do that. Um... Okay. But it, this Logan look, kid... Look, Logan Paul, he went out, he fought uh, Nate Robinson, the basketball player. Right? He beat his ass. He also fought Fury's brother, as well, Tommy Fury, and he lost. Beaten. And yeah, Tommy Fury beat him. Exactly... So, what, what... He's not his brother. Yeah, but, he, but he's a semi-decent he... fighter. Do you know how I know about Tommy Fury? Love Island, people. Love Island. <laughs> Molly Men. That's how I know about Tyson Fury. I mean, Tommy Fury. I'm getting dead on. I knew Tyson was, and then put two and two together and saw Love Island. But now we're going on to Can Logan Paul fighting Mike Tyson. One of the greatest ever. Controversial, yes, but yes. a great. The man got beaten by a semi professional boxer. Now you want to fight one of the best. It's no, just for money. And I'm sorry, best. this is one of Continue the greatest first. of all times. Let's be honest. Because he wants his ear to be pissed off. What do you want? No, not this that. A nasty, nasty fighter. One of the most brutal punches the world will ever know. Watching that training video at 57. Uh-uh. Are you mad? It doesn't matter who you think you are. What kind of fighter you are. Mike Tyson's going to hand your ass to you, and that is straight. But I find it a mockery of the sport. I don't like these wannabe celebrities, many YouTubers, doing this for what? They're not boxers. They never train their whole lives. They decide to hit the gym, have a six-pack, do a few punches, oh, I'm going to fight the greats. And the thing is, the sad part is I think the people he's fighting are taking the fights because of the money. You get to a certain yes. age, you're not yes. making the money you used to back in your heyday so you're doing it for the money and that just to me ruins the and special I, oh my God. I get you I get you like I told you guys off air that maybe it's because mm -hmm. it's the only way to get people interested in boxing again like we know boxing peaked mm -hmm. in the 70s 80s it was on the wane for, for four decades but it just so happened that it had enough people to generate interest in it uh, Lennox Lewis, Evander Holyfield, Mike Tyson, Oscar de la Hoya, Felix Tito, Floyd Mayweather, Dingan Tobel. I mean, South Africa had arguably the best boxers in the, in the world in the late 80s, throughout the 90s and early 2000s. But that wouldn't uh, change the fact that boxing's interest was on the wane. And when white people started winning the heavyweight title again, as, uh, as Chris Rock said, that's when you knew that it was in trouble. Because the joke was, the joke goes, as long as there's a brother out of a job, you're not going to get a heavyweight white champion. So if Klitschko and well, them were winning, then it means brothers were getting can... jobs, right? Is there ever going to be another great white fighter? No. Never. Not as long as there's a, you know, not as long as a brother out of a job. So as long as brothers need some dough, 
Well, you brought up South Africa there. We might not be in boxing, but Oscar, Oscar de la Hoya's trainer is a South African man. Yes. When he won the championship. It's a good... Uh, Steve Uri, the oh, so Steve yeah. Uri, yeah. So yeah, well, no, African I'm, man. Steve Uri. I Steve Uri. I thought it was Nick Durant, but it's Horace and Pete. We went from uh, Durant, his trainer. Steve Uri and then yeah. No, no, but you know, uh, going back to that joke, that racist joke, even though it's not racist, you get the the guest. Uh, Chris Rock once joked that as long as there's a, a brother out of work, you're not gonna get white heavyweight champions. Just to uh, uh, make the joke that personality was starting to run out of uh, boxing a few years ago and now you can tell if you were to ask anybody who the middleweight champion is who the lightweight time champion is who the flyweight champion is not many people will know not even people anybody will know who the current heavyweight champion is well it's confusing yeah, to know because of yes, all the belts exactly. and the unification really? it diluted everything it, yeah it's it's confusing to know because it's a, yeah. it's a WBN, it's WBC, it's, yeah. it, it's confusing to know. The glam is gone. No, there's Ushik as well. You, you're forgetting about Ushik. It's not just... Yeah, you know. Theory. So, yeah, I, I think that's the... I mean, take coming to South Africa, we have not had a serious fighter in a long time. And now celebrities are the ones, when they fight, it becomes a story. Casper Njovest whipping a critic's ass... This guy whooping that person's ass. That's the only time you generate interest in boxing. So it goes to show that, hey, man, maybe the sports is on its last legs. Hey man, I just, ah, that fast is asleep. I just, no, no, I just, I was looking at the odds for the, for the fight, actually. Which um, fight again? The Jake Paul, Mike Tyson. At, at the, would the odds and be out already? Or it's on they Hollywood even... Baseball. Oh, I didn't know the, Ooh, the what odds What is it? What is that? Well, the, the the first thing is it's on my daughter's birthday, so I won't be watching. Twenty um, first of July. No, 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 no. You be like, baby, come sit on my lap and see this guy get his ass beaten. Welcome to life. Don't pick a fight. You know, nobody. Yet. You don't want to pick a You're fight. Not married yet. So I'm just gonna I'm just time gonna... zones. It'll be the next day. Oh yeah, of course. Of course. I'm, you're not married yet, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let you. I'm just gonna let you enjoy that. Um, right now. The odds are Jake Paul, 0.54. Mike Tyson, 1.33. Yo, I don't care. I'll put my house on Mike Tyson. I'm not going to lie. And Mike Tyson don't Wait, need the Wait, say that again. 0.54 for and Mike one, Tyson or Jake? Jake Paul, 0.54. Mike Tyson, 1.33. You know, we've been calling Jake Paul Logan Paul. <laughs> You've been Same calling point. him that. I've been calling him Jake. I Paul. YouTubers. They YouTubers to me. They are nothing fancy. I don't and care about they, them. They whoever they are. And their stupid energy drink prime nonsense. 